Hi guys, um, right now I'm at our village pond. Um, our home is like over there, over those bushes. This part of our land, this one that comes up to the pond, comes up to the pond over here. And uh, this is where our land ends from up, up there. So uh, then there's a different clan over there on the other side of the pond. Uh, there's somebody's other land, somebody else's land on that other side. And this pond is more or less like, uh, <coughs> like separating two clans basically. So the pond separates, uh, the, on the other side of the pond, there's a different clan. And on this other side of the pond, there's another clan. So uh, basically, yeah. So I remember we used to bathe in this pond. People still bathe here. So, <laughs> so they come draw water before we got piped water. We used to draw water from this pond uh, to drink, to eat, we would boil it and then uh, drink it. Put it in a pot and drink it. <laughs> we, <laughs> we never got sick from it. Uh, we'd also use it to cook, uh, get the water, use it to cook, and uh, boil it and cook it, and use it to cook, and uh, we'll be all right. So, um, so you see cows also come to drink here. So there's a lot of cow dung here in here too. So that's, the, that's what the village life is like, simple village life here. Yeah. But people still lived on this, people survived on this, and uh, nobody died out of cholera or anything like that. Yeah, so... Um, so this is the edge of our farm from up there where I'm building all the way up to here, up to this pond. Yeah, um, so uh, yeah, one day I think maybe I'll, uh, I'll camp out here, spend the night out here in this grass. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, you can, you can stay here overnight, yeah, camp here, uh, make some food, uh, some uh, food on a little stove. Yeah, and just relax. So actually this pond was uh, prepared by the by the by the county or the local government or the local authorities so uh, they'll get a big truck or a big bulldozer uh, which scooped up these uh these this, this, this areas at the end of the depression to create the pond so this area was scooped up there's another one over there about uh about a mile away or so or two miles away which is much bigger than this one so when this one dries people normally go to the other one when there's no piped water and then when this when this two dry which is rare then people will go up to the river to river yala across like about 10 kilometers that way so we'd walk up to the river and bathe over there it's a big river river yala so it's a big river we'd go and bathe there and so on and so forth yeah so i just wanted to show you guys uh uh <laughs> the pond of the village here Ooh, this tree scared me it looks like yellow yellow is a creeping tree creeping shrub <laughs> so um yeah so basically that's what it is in the village over here so we bathe over here would come hang around i think girls would bathe on one side the boys would bathe on the other side i think still uh young kids still do that but nowadays we have piped water in the home from the municipal council so a lot of people use a roof catchment piped water and this one is basically just for animals so only animals now use this uh this pond water this is a pond. Yeah, so only animals nowadays use this pond water here. Uh, goats and cows and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, for us, actually, we have, uh, we have, uh, we have water in the <laughs> piped water also, which we, we give to the cows and the goats and so on and so forth. So sometimes the cows come, come over here. Sometimes they drink in the home. So yeah, so it depends. The person who's hiding them would probably walk with them all the way here, walk back. And uh, when they're thirsty in the home, they just we just give them water from the home. So basically, um, so uh, so this is a village pond. Uh, we grew up here. Uh, girls bathing over there, <laughs> boys bathing over here, <laughs> and uh, and this is normal. And of course, uh, it was a lot of fun for us because we would be like, hey, I can see uh, <laughs> some pretty chicks over there on that other side, and uh, I'm over here. Uh, we also bathing over here and uh make people made friends yeah i remember i made some good friends over here and uh some of them got married some of them moved out since these are uh, this basically um uh, uh people from the different clan uh, could get married to people from this other clan so some people got married away some people got married uh, not regionally or close by yeah but basically that's what it, it is so growing up making friends <laughs> When you come to what are the cows over here, cows and goats over here, when you're still small kids, seven years old, eight years old, 18, 19, up to teenage years, we still we do that when you are 
down here in the village. So, um, so here you see like this depression, somebody just made like a place where they, when they get the water over there, they can come over here and uh, with, a, with a basin or a pot and then they'll bathe over here. So it's a little hidden, so uh, like not everybody will see you, yeah? And then, uh, then they would uh, basically uh, uh, wash their clothes and, uh, and then go back, go back to their home. So these are walking the village by the pond and uh, just showing you the beautiful stuff that we have here in the village, uh, the beautiful landscape, the bushland that we have here. Most of this is bushland and this is virgin bush basically. I can see some lucina which I planted but most of it is virgin bush, uh, bushland that has, uh, has been there over years and years and years and probably centuries. And uh, for us, we preferred not to clear them, to just leave them as natural bush or natural land. That way, they would, uh, that it's more ecological to leave it that way than to, to clear it and plant trees. So if you go like this way, because some water doesn't, all, not all the water comes to the pond, some go around the pond. So you, if you look over there, you can see like it's a marshland, it's marshy. It's because uh, some water is over there. So it's like more or less like a swamp over there, a little swamp over there. Yeah, there's some reeds growing over there and so on and so forth. So I'll just take you around and then I'll walk back to the village. <laughs> I'm actually in the village, I'll walk back close to the home. Yeah, there's also fish in this pond. There's tilapia. So you can catch some tilapia. So like that dude over there, I think he's trying to, he's trying to fish. He's trying to catch some fish. Yeah. So, uh, so that's it. So welcome to the village pond. And uh, where we, most of us grew up uh, herding cows and goats and bringing them over here, bathing in this pond. This pond is pretty deep. So when you drink water from the edge, you have to be careful you don't fall in there because it's pretty deep. Uh, if you don't know how to swim, you will probably drown in this pond. So, so kids are very careful when they draw water, they draw on the edge. Uh, or young people or uh, even older people, they draw water at the edge and then they, 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 they bathe or they wash over here on this raised area or beyond the raised area. This area is a little raised and beyond there is actually like a, another depression. So it's like um, the area around the pond is all elevated. So they would come to this elevated portion this elevated portion over here and then uh, they do most of the stuff in this elevated portion and if you want to bathe you probably try to go not inside the bush completely but somewhere close to the <laughs> to the edge over here and you'd bathe over here where nobody not everybody is seeing you so that's my story here in the bush in the bushland <laughs> here in Bondo. Bondo is actually this area is actually shrubland is a semi it's not really semi-arid but it's not very wet but it's not very dry. It's somewhere in between there. So it's basically bushland, not forest land, not grassland, but bushland. So that's the vegetation type you describe for this particular area. Yeah, so we've tried to plant trees and make it uh, more, more, more like forestry so that we've got a lot of, uh, so that we can improve the environment. But the natural bush is what you see right here. That's natural bush. All that is natural bush. Yeah. So guys, uh, subscribe to this channel, like and share, love you guys to the beach and back as I bring you this village shenanigans. Yeah. So there's some water lily there. So let me turn the camera so I can show you a little bit of it. So if you look over there, there's some water lilies. Water lilies over there. And the pond is quite, uh, it's quite big. There's some fish in there, some tilapia. So that keeps it a little more like me, more organic, like healthy, uh, because the fish and all the ecological stuff that happens, or, and all the ecological stuff that happens in the water, in our, in our water body goes on, and therefore uh, the water body stays uh, fresh and, uh, and healthy. And uh, people would uh, probably come and fish here and all that. So the cycle basically, uh, the cycle of uh, the ecological cycle uh, takes place uh, uh, in this small pond, there's a small pond ecology of it. It's not very small, it's like almost 50 by 80, 50 by 80 meters uh, oval, oval in shape, yeah. So, uh, and our home is over there, over there, straight beyond where you see those trees. 
Yeah, so you come all the way down from those trees up to here. Yeah. So basically, that's it for you from, for, from me, guys. I love you guys to the beach and back. And uh, for now, that's what I bring you. Uh, that's all I bring you about the pond. And please subscribe to the channel, like and share. The reeds here, these reeds, they use them to make uh, like a carpet-like material. Nowadays, I don't see a lot of it, but uh, people have been using it to, to make like a, more or less like a mat. Like a mat made of reed, which you can use for sleeping. You can use it to, to put some crops to dry and so on and so forth. Some corn to dry and so on and so forth. So that's it for this pond journey <laughs> to the pond and uh, bringing me memories, re reminiscence of the good old days when I used to be a little kid and uh, we had goats over here, would come and, and uh, not swim, but would come draw water and bathe over here and then I'd go back to the, to the home. Yeah. So guys, uh, subscribe to this channel, like and share. This is my spotlight, Ta -da! the one I use at night to do patrols and stuff like that. Uh, I might just check around the day, basically. So guys, uh, subscribe to the channel, like and share. I love you guys to the beach and back. Ciao for now. Keep watching until the end.